But if you want to stop these Zoom bombs, as they're called, there's a couple of things to do. First of all, every Zoom meeting has this nine-digit meeting ID. So, number one, don't post that up online. Don't share that everywhere. Hey, good morning. Craig Peterson here. That's me with Jack Heath this morning. And I was going through some of the online video conferencing and also some of the collaboration tools that you should and should not use. And you know my opinions about Zoom. I'll even tell you some of the things you can do in order to help secure it. So here we go with Jack. Welcome in, Craig Peterson, Tech Talk. Craig, if you're on Zoom and doing some of these other things, uh, people are looking in. How can we avoid that? Yeah, there's a lot of people started using Zoom. It's been around for a while, very popular. It's used for video conferencing, so you can get a number of people together. Offices have been using it for years. I've been using it off and on. In fact, I used it for some of the FBI InfraGuard training I did for years. And it is kind of the default video chat platform. And what you're talking about is something that's become known as Zoom bombing. And this is where someone joins in on your Zoom meeting that you did not invite. And there's been all kinds of things. Some of the schools that have been using Zoom have seen people get in and uh, just shout profanities at the teacher and then get back out again. Some of the meetings have had pornography dropped in the middle of them. And there are some things you can do to stop that. But first, just so that people understand, Zoom should never, ever be used for a meeting where there is confidential information being discussed. In fact, it is illegal under most federal regulations for any regulated industry. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to stop these Zoom bombs, as they're called, there's a couple of things to do. First of all, every Zoom meeting has this nine digit meeting ID. So number one, don't post that up online. Don't share that everywhere. And Zoom does have an option to generate a new random meeting number for every meeting that you're in. So check that out as well. Make sure you use a random meeting number. Don't use your standard uh, meeting number that you have for your own personal room. Then the next thing you want to do is turn off the waiting room option, or excuse me, turn it on so that people can't just join in before you show up and then sit there and lurk, which can be a bit of a problem. And then you're going to want to set a password on the meeting as well. So that people need the meeting number, they need the password in order to make sure that they are hopefully authorized to be there in the meeting. And then you can also, if you really want to lock it down, once your meeting started and people have joined, you can click on lock meeting. Now remember that these meetings are often recorded. If you're downloading your chat log, it's going to include private chat that you had in that particular Zoom meeting. So you might not want to share that log with everybody out there. And if you are really looking for more security or even more simplicity, consider FaceTime, which comes with all of your Apple iPhones, etc. They have now group chats of up to 32 people with end-to-end encryption, which, by the way, Zoom does not have. And then the best option for, uh, for online meetings that are, need to be secure, and this is according to Wired, and although I do sell WebEx, it, it is WebEx from Cisco. It's a group calling tool. It gives you video calls for up to 100 people for the lower end side and all up to 10,000. So there you go. Those are the basic. Oh, and one more. Google has something called Duo, and that will give you a group chat of up to 10 people. So FaceTime, if I was just putting together ad hoc meetings, that's what I would use. Zoom, use random meeting IDs, set passwords, what about, and don't let... Go ahead. No, Craig, what about, uh, what about Microsoft Teams? 
Uh, Microsoft Teams is something some people have been using. A lot of schools have moved away from Zoom because of the problems. And uh, we've been helping some schools with the uh, WebEx Teams. Microsoft has, it's a fairly new product for them called Teams. And I know schools and other organizations that have moved to it. And the advantage to one of these Teams platforms over something like the Zoom is that uh, it gives you a collaboration tool as well. So you can have those meetings, the face-to-face -face meetings. You can share files. You can have conversations. You can have multiple spaces or team rooms. And I think they're really great to look at. But again, WebEx is the only one that's certified for secure communications. But Microsoft Teams and WebEx Teams are both excellent platforms. All right, Craig Peterson, excellent, excellent stuff this morning. Craig Peterson with an ON.com for more. Thank you, Craig. Take care. Hey, we are going to be starting up again this week for those of you who have already been attending some of my uh, little video conferences, some of the training. Because it's all linked together, I decided to do something a little different. If you haven't already signed up for one of these webinars, I am not going to be notifying you about the upcoming webinars this week. I will repeat them here probably in another week or two, but uh, you kind of missed the boat on that, I'm afraid. Uh, we'll have some replays up and stuff for those people, again, who have been attending. There's like 150 or so, and that's as big as I want it to be right now because I want to be able to answer people's questions in real time and before we hang up and keep these to a maximum of an hour and a half. So uh, if you have been on them before, you will probably get an email from me unless I mess something up, in which case you probably want to reach out to me, but I'm going to to be doing uh, some webinars and some trainings and stuff every day this week for those people. Yeah, those people. <laughs> uh, I guess that's better than you people, right? Anyhow, take care, guys. Have a great day. I will be back tomorrow, I'm sure, with Mr. Jim Polito. Bye-bye.